A little Motion Ease essential oil. We got some pressure point <laughs> wristbands. And also Dramamine. Today I'm rebedding this hatch. It's starting to leak lately, pretty bad, so I'm gonna take it up, clean it off, and reseal it. You can see how nasty it gets up in the corners. No idea the last time these things have been resealed or rebed. In years, I'm sure. It's an old boat, that's what you get. I'm really big on tape when it comes to doing any kind of caulk or silicone sealant. It's just so much easier to make a nice, clean, professional look. Uh, also, if you don't tape, trying to clean that up and not make it look like a mess is a headache. So, um, here's my final product. What I'm gonna use is this uh, Bolt Life Life Seal and then clean it up. Just use my fingers. And all that excess sealant in the screw holes will be removed after it cures. So uh, a couple weeks ago, my cousin was in town. I ended up getting like a four day pass and then we have to burn this pass out before we leave in a few months. Uh, Kelly here has an annual pass. She's a Disney freak fanatic her entire <laughs> life. But we need a way to carry the camera. We're not really prepared for this, so we've come here to <laughs> gift land. It's exciting. Here we go. Oh my god, they have everything. Oh my god, everything Disney too. Everything you could possibly imagine. <gasps> Jackpot. Jackpot. Beautiful. That's nice. It's a nice <laughs> color. <laughs> <laughs> Camouflage. Look at that one. Oh my god. It matches your Speedo. Yes. Let's see the camera fits. What you got there, baby? If we're gonna do this, we gotta do it right. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> I love it. Yep, bring it up. <laughs> This is my annual pass that I've had for like eight years straight. I get to go whenever I want, any park. It's the key to the world. Bam. We are going to Disney Hollywood Studios. This is my favorite park. It has the two best rides out of all of Disney. Rock and Roller Coaster starring Aerosmith. And Tower of Terror. You sit down and it drops you. It's all about the movies. Mermaid. They have a lot of Star Wars stuff. They have a Beauty and the Beast show. It has to do this whole skit like a hundred times. Guy. It's been there since the park opened. Anything Disney cheesy, I love. Beard nerd. <laughs> Huge nerd. Huge. Sorry guys. Is it not working?
The Adventures of King Arthur. Look at King Arthur as he feasts on a meal made for a king. King Arthur is fed only the finest prime rib bone. Or King Arthur doesn't eat just anything. He carefully inspects this bone by licking every inch. It may look as though King Arthur doesn't know what he's doing, as though this is his first bone ever. Quite the contrary. This is his strategy. He only pretends he hasn't eaten a bone before. King Arthur is very protective of his food. Watch as his servant attempts to take his bone away. King Arthur turns it around, as though the servant is actually helping him. Hmm, very clever. Every so often, King Arthur hides from his food. This way his food doesn't know what to expect. Watch as the king sneaks back to his bone as though he doesn't even want it. Keeping the bone off guard. Allowing it to be more tender, perhaps? Hmm. Only King Arthur knows. What are you doing here today? I'm with my husband. We ditched our children and we came to Disney World for the first time by ourselves. What brings you guys here? Maybe. Ah, put you on the spot. Well, um... What bring... Wait, we gotta turn around and talk. We're leaving on a sailing trip. On a what? A Where are you going? Trip. You have to stop at Wilmington, North Carolina. We live there. It is an awesome place. They film all sorts of things there. They film Iron Man there, Jennifer Aniston movies, Mike and Molly Girl movies there. I have a place for us to stay there. <laughs> And cut. I'm Terry. And this is Kelly. Oh, this is Kelly. And you're from? Bonita Springs. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> As... Take a slip on a boat ride for Have fun on your sailing adventure. Try and make it around to Naples where we are. Can I stay in your extra bedroom? Sure. Where are you going? Oh, that's weird. Um, I have to pee. I got pee. Oh, I got pee. Hey, where are you going? All right. Anything you have to do before that? Oh yeah, I have to be. Back at Hollywood Studios, and first thing I gotta do, I gotta be. I gotta be. Uh, today, I'm going with Brent and Jeff to pick up uh, some new anchor chain. We have 200 feet of chain with uh, 100 feet of uh, rope. Jeff here at the dock. A friend of mine, he was able to hook us up. Had them splice in a nice uh, anchor splice. It'll all go through the windlass. And uh, we're gonna go pick it up right now. Oh yeah. How you doing? Ready to use some anchor chain? I'm ready. Did your workout? So what are we picking up? 600 feet of anchor chain? Yep. And 350 feet of line. 5 sixteenths American made? Uh, it's Canadian. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Just for that, I'm gonna drink a case of Labatt's. Right, right. I, got some, I got some Labatt's blue light on the boat. <laughs> Shiny. Pretty.
<laughs> 200 feet anchor chain, defeated by one piece of plastic tape. <laughs> Show you what this looks like. Little musty, cramped, dark anchor locker. And there is the bitter end down there. So I'll untie that, bring the new one in, tie it up, and we'll load it up. Beautiful. Okay, that's enough. Oh yeah, that's nice. That's sweet. That old dog still works pretty good. Yeah, Baby. Just like that. Oh man, that's nice. Pretty for right, nice for right now, I would just take a piece of line either from there or from right here and, and uh, tie it to your cleat while you're sailing. So in case that happens to be loose and you're sailing along in rough seas, you know, 10 foot waves and the anchor comes off. Wait a minute, what did Jeff just say? So in case that happens to be loose and you're sailing along in rough seas, you know, 10 foot waves and the anchor comes off. Good morning. Good morning. What time is it? Five. Oh, 5.36. We're late. That's early. Yeah. We'll cast off. Head straight down to Cabbage Key. Boca Grand Pass. Should be about 12 hours. Get going. Oh, Kelly's not feeling so good. Nausea, seasickness. This is going to be a long day. Next time on Sailing Satori, we continue to make our way down to the Dry Tortugas. If you enjoyed this episode, please hit like below and subscribe. And buy me a treat, man. Por favor. A special thanks to all of our patrons. This channel is made possible by viewers like you. Go to sailingsatori.life to see how you can help.